is Terrence Hill, the real estate consultant. Now, uh, what, is the, what are the costs involved when you're selling a home? First off, you have to make a decision, is selling a home is something that you want to do? The investor side of me is say, listen, hold on to what you got unless you're in buying and flipping. Otherwise, the appreciation is going to pay off in the long run. The real estate agent part of me is saying, listen, if you need to sell, now's the best time to do it because prices are going to continue, continue to go up. And not just prices, but interest rates. I just shared a graph earlier today where the graph was basically showing how the same amount of purchase price it's going to yield you a small amount of house in the long run. So I think looking at the overall position of being able to position yourself to sell and strategically make that possible in 2022 is something that you want to take a look into. But back to the fees associated with selling the home. Of course, you got commissions. Now, the commission aspect is on a standard level is about 6%. Some agents take less than 6%. Some homeowners will go to one of these third party companies to try to get the commission down as much as possible. But also with that being said, what is the cost associated with not having a top professional? To sell your biggest single asset that most people ever own. I think that's something critical that we should take a look into in terms of rhetorically asking ourselves that question. Now, moving on, so you have the commissions and you also have um, prorated taxes that you have to pay for and any associated fees in terms of getting the title into the clients or the buyers in this particular case deed it over to them so you have those fees moving into the actual process as well you want to take a look at to see okay what does it cost for us to be able to get our house ready to sell you know, are you going to do any staging? Are you going to rely on a real estate agent to do the staging? Are you going to do the decluttering? Are you going to do the how much rent, renovations or repairs are you going to do prior to putting the property onto the market? So there's a, a lot of aspects that you want to factor in when it comes to getting ready to sell your home and make that decision. Here's a small list of the things that we talked about today. I hope this was quite informative.